Hello and welcome everyone to another Haven and Hearth tutorial. Before I begin, I apologize for the watermark in this video. I'm going to try to get that away. Thanks for your patience. Anyways, in this I will be covering the features of the Haven and Hearth game client Ender's Client, and also how to install it. First, what is Ender's Client? Ender's Client was created by Ender Wiggins on the Haven and Hearth forums as a client mod for Haven and Hearth. Ender's Client is superior to the original client in many different ways. First, let's state the most noticeable feature. The screen is bigger, and you can see more things around you. You can also resize the zoom level to see more items on forageable items and enemies. There are many little nifty features in Enders. One feature that is very helpful to everyone is the hide feature. It does what the name says. After activating this, you can select various objects to hide from the map, such as bushes, trees, walls, houses, logs, and more. This makes it easier to find items on the map, and not have everything covering your site. Another feature is the in-game wiki shown here. This provides quick access to information on objects. There are many small settings that you can configure, such as showing player paths and dowsing rod direction. Ender's Client gives the player more hotbar configurations. The number pad was added, and the F keys, such as F1 and F2. With Ender's, you could also install custom graphics mod. The one that I use, and to my knowledge the most popular graphics mod, is Daji's Textures. In my opinion, this brings a more lively feel to the game. Now, now the install guide. First, you head to the Enders forum page. I've included the link in the description. You should then choose the client for your operating system, either 32-bit or 64-bit. After that, you can extract the zip file to anywhere you like. Open up the Haven and Hearth folder. Then you can double-click run.bat and start playing, but you get this weird message. To solve this, first make sure you have Java installed. Then, go to local disk. Program Files x86, go down to Java folder, open JRE7, open bin, then scroll down until you found Java W.exe. Right click that, and then click Properties. Copy the long thing after location. After that, you can go back to your Haven and Hearth folder, right click run.bat, and click Edit. Then paste that as shown in the video here. Don't forget to add quotation marks. Then open it and start playing but it still doesn't work. What you have to do now is you have to go back to the edit screen, not print, you have to go back to the edit screen and then edit it so that the long location thing has a slash java w dot exe after bin. Now you can open it and start playing. Enjoy Ender's Client. 